All right. Welcome back to Kiwi Labs Pickleball. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to Kiwi Labs Pickleball. Today we're doing something pretty fun. Um, it's kind of an experiment. How do you play pickleball by yourself without buying a thousand dollar pitching machine or serving machine, whatever they're called. They're really cool, but I don't know if I'm ready to make that jump. It's pretty expensive. This right here, still not, you know, it's not cheap. I probably spent 200-ish, maybe a little less all said and done, including some balls and some attachments. I don't know. Let's just get into it. It'll make sense very soon. Side note, find the cheapest Econo pack of pickleballs. Yeah. For my purpose of just having them to practice with, it's totally fine, but um, you just know these are gonna crack in two seconds. But again, I'm just using them for my new ball launcher. Oh, I'm going to make a video on this for a couple reasons. One, it's just very experimental. This is actually a tennis ball launcher. It's not actually made for pickleballs, but I have a theory that I should be able to fit it just fine. If not, we're gonna do a little tweaking to make sure it does fit it. And then I also bought an extendo clip to make it hold just, well, at least all the balls I bought here. And then I should be able to have something to play with in my front yard and just lob up some, you know, one-offs to practice with. And all said and done, I think it should be cool. There's three modes on this guy. Um, a low high, low medium and high. Um, I think this is like height adjustments. So yeah, let's get it built and we'll talk about if it's worth it or, or maybe I just wasted $150 on a big chunk of plastic. Let's see. All right, so I got it set up here to hold about 16 balls. I have actually a whole nother thing I might add later, but this seems like plenty for now. Uh, and I needed no tweaks so far. It works like I didn't have to cut a bigger hole or anything. And it's actually kind of awesome. I'm really excited to go try this out because it has a pivot mode so it can go left and right. And then it has a angle switch. Ah! <laughs> it's got some power to it, so. <laughs> um, I think it'll work just fine. And then there's like these little feet at the bottom that you can adjust to change where it goes. And uh, I can't believe that they're not advertising this thing for pickleball because this could be perfect. There's one actual thing I'd like to test real quick is if a real ball, like an X40 or something, would fit in here. So let's try that real quick. All right, the last thing I'm going to do is put D batteries in this because you actually don't need the power cable. And that way, we could take it to the courts and go play by myself. All right. So that's about uh, an idea of how big it is. It's pretty portable. Got my phone tripod thingy, balls, ugh.
starting to rain on me. So far, it's okay. I wish it would do more than just like a really big light lob. Be nice to get some torque on it, but the fact that it isosceles, the fact that it's pretty quick, it's not like a 10 second interval. I think it's like a four or five second interval is very nice. I don't know if you could tell, pan down a little bit. I have to prop it up the opposite way because otherwise it just goes straight up in the air, which would be great for practicing some overheads, but I want a little bit more of like a real experience. So I'm trying to tilt it forward. I'm just, I don't know, there's ways to get around it. Also, it's starting to rain, so we'll see if it holds up or if it breaks. <laughs> So I did manage to get a decent workout in there. Uh, it's fun that it has all these different modes because I was able to like, you know, focus on certain things. Like one thing I'll mention is the way that it's set up, it's on the same rhythm, right? So it'll always do like two, uh, like right down the middle and then two to practice your backhand. And then if you tilt it, it'll do like two uh, down the middle and then two for your forehand shot. So you would find a rhythm with it, which at first I was like, that's kind of a bummer. I wanted to like be on my toes and just like shoot at whatever it gives me, but it lets you hone in on what you want to practice. It lets you do like, you know, run back, run up, run back, run up. Like you could finesse a certain type of workout. Like I really wanted to focus on my two handed backhands today. Cause that's something you can't really practice by yourself. Really. It's hard to, I don't even know how you do that even against the wall. I guess it's kind it's still hard. Long story short, I could do that today, which was pretty great. Um, as far as like the downsides, I wish it like shot at more of like a direct 45 degree angle. Um, cause it has a decent amount of power, which is good, but it was like always straight up and then down and maybe a little arc. Uh, you saw I was able to like tweak it a little bit and add like my paddles behind it. I don't know. Long story short, I do think you could get creative with it and find like the perfect way to use it. And then I was really thinking like, is this thing worth the purchase? Cause I paid a hundred dollars for the unit itself. And then there's also like the extended ball hopper, which was like $30. And for $130, I saw there's like a Franklin one similar to this, which uh, is 150 now, it used to be a hundred. And that one might be comparable. The only problem with that is it only shoots a ball like every 10 seconds which for me, I'd be like, I don't, I don't like that at all. Whereas this was really quick and it, it didn't feel like I wish it was faster or slower. And that's a good thing because you weren't able to adjust it, but I really liked the rhythm it set up and the fact that I could maybe even buy more hoppers and just load it up and load it up with balls. Uh, that's pretty cool. Um, as far as like, is it a good purchase versus like those other things on the market, like I was saying, there's like a $300 like actual pickleball one. I forget the brand name. It's green. It's called like the twist or something. And I was really looking at that one. And the reason I decided to just like roll the dice on this guy is one, it's half the price and two, it isosceles. So uh, all of a sudden I do think this was the smarter purchase because, uh, you know, I could buy two for the price of that other one and maybe have two going at the same time. That'll give you a workout. Um, yeah, so all said and done, I hope, how many times did I just say all said and done? Uh, but this time I mean it, cause I'm gonna end the video here. I, uh, my final thoughts is give it a try. It's, I mean, the real solution is find friends to, who will go out and play pickleball in the rain with you. Uh, but when you don't have that, this is definitely the next best thing. 
Uh, so I give it a thumbs up, a surprising thumbs up. I was ready to like have to like cut into it or something because I've seen some people buy like these $30 like plastic baseball launchers and they turn those into machines. And I almost did that. And uh, I'll send done. I'll send done. <laughs> All right, that's a sign to end the video. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, uh, yeah, that's it. Bye, guys.